Hey everyone, welcome back to Morning Guys for another Da Vinci tutorial. In this one, I'll be showing you how you can make bass shake effect. Alright, so I'm having a video on my timeline as well as some music under it and I want to apply some bass shake effect. To get started, firstly I will need to leave some markers on the music and because of that I'm gonna preview the music and press M each time I want to place a marker. And when you're doing that, you can also misclick a few times, but that is no problem, you can always rearrange the position of the markers, just like I'm doing for my third one. I missed the timing just a little bit, and I can tell that by seeing the visualizer that the beat is hitting a bit earlier than the marker. So now I know where the beat needs to be applied, and the next step is to go to effects, take an adjustment clip and leave it on the video slot number 2. And then I'm gonna stretch it out until the end of the video. And I'm also cutting the extended part of the audio. And now when I did all that, now I need to go back to the effects library. Open effects. Find the directional blur and apply it over the adjustment clip. And now this adjustment clip has directional blur and we need to modify it. And that's why now I'm closing the effects library and I'm going to the inspector. Remember that the adjustment clip need to be highlighted all the time and in the inspector I'm pressing the effects. And the first two settings that you can see is blur strength and blur angle. And first I'm gonna increase by a lot the strength of the blur just so I can see more clearly that the blurness is going vertical. And now I'm going to the blur angle and adjusting it vertically like I said. In my case the values are around minus 91. So to continue I'm going to the blur strength and I'm reducing the strength and that is a personal preferences for everyone. In my case I'm setting it to 0.35 but if you need a bigger shake you can play with the options and increase it maybe to 0.5. And now we are halfway done. Next thing is I'm going to the first marker and then I'm making a cut over the adjustment clip. Then I'm moving one frame forward and making another cut. And now that adjustment clip is split on three parts and I'm gonna delete the first one and the last one. Now I have only one frame and by pressing the right arrow key I'm moving one frame forward. I'm gonna leave this one frame empty and now when I have a gap of one frame I'm gonna copy and paste this adjustment clip. And now I'm doing the same as the first one. I'm moving a frame forward and I'm copy pasting the second adjustment clip. Now I'm nearly finished. I'm gonna play to see how it looks. Now after previewing it, I think it looks very nice based on the time we spend on it. And now the last part about it is that we need to copy all these three and paste it on the next markers. So this is a free base shake effect. Let's fast forward this part and see what we made in just 3 minutes. So that was it guys, thank you for watching, if this video was helpful make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more, see you in the next one.